Hi, everybody, and welcome to episode two of the Making Connections podcast series. Uh, this is the May, this is May 2022. I'm Adam Gartenberg, and I'm here with Renee Schimmer. Hello, everyone. And we are product managers for Connections. And if this is your first time joining us, our goal here is to have a kind of informal conversation about things that are going on in the Connections world, where uh, what we've been working on, what's coming up, where to find us. Um, so hopefully this is helpful for you. And uh, please feel free to reach out to us, share us your, share your feedback, let us know what you want to hear us talk about, uh, or any conversations or any comments rather, and we can have a conversation on it. So with that, today we're going to talk a bit about the upcoming Engage conference. Uh, exciting to be back in person like for the first event in about two and a half years or so. So we'll talk about that and where you can find us and the various connection sessions there. We'll give you an update on the Connections V8 preview, uh, where we are now, and the, the next milestone that's coming up for uh, rolling out some of the new features to the preview environment. And then uh, we'll talk a bit about some recent updates that were shipped for Connections Mobile and the desktop apps. So with that, let's, Renee, let's start looking at what's coming up for Engage. Yeah, so let me just let me there. just say before we yeah. we dive in, I am so excited to finally, you know, uh, not the part of getting onto a plane, but getting to into a plane again and going to a conference to actually see all of you. So if you're not yet planning to come, you know, you should reconsider because we will get together, we will be able to have side conversations and just um, be more creative in our approach and how we all interact with each other. So it's really good to see that we're finally back uh, in a room together. And we have a great list of sessions for connections. Um, of course, all the other HL products are, uh, uh, digital solutions products are covered at Engage as well. But here in this podcast, obviously we focus on connections. So we have a quick list of, of presentations that are related or, or solely focused on connections. And we would just wanna give you a quick rundown of, of what's coming. So first off is, is Richard, Richard Jeffs um, presenting the keynote and opening general session, right? So this is the welcome to the event and all of the products will be covered there. So this is a must must see session just to hear the latest from Richard and where we're headed, what's going on and welcoming everybody. And then that will be followed on, on the Tuesday as well. So by the way, the date is May 24, the opening day uh, with some sessions on Monday as well, but the, the key event starts on Tuesday, May 24. Um, Andrew Manby will then give an overview of the overall product strategy for our HL Digital Solutions product portfolio. So another key session to, to take a look at, to hear um, about the high level roadmaps and plans and strategy for, for all the products that you see on the slide here, Connections, Domino, Digital Experience, Same Time Verse, Volt and Volt MX. So then we have a number of sessions from non-HCLers, which is great to see, right? So we have HCL presentations and we also have presentations from uh, customers as well as partners. And the next one here, the long-term management of digital workspaces and content is from Susan and Julian, who are both at the University of Koblenz. The University of Koblenz has for years worked in in the collaboration space and specifically with, with customers using connections to really develop strategies and analysis on how to effectively use collaboration tools to support the day-to-day -day work within organizations. They have done incredible research and visualizations of how people interact with each other and connections has been one key pillar of all of this. This one session here, there's another one uh, um, on Wednesday, I believe. This session here focuses on the long-term management of digital workspaces, right? How can you um, do a long-term management of, of workspaces from start to finish uh, to destruction of the community, etc. Destruction meaning it's being retired, right? So uh, just a decommissioning. So very interesting uh, session here. And then the next one, is from Christoph uh, at Vigard, another very, very good partner of ours. 
and he will focus on the administrative side of connections. And he has a toolbox of tools that help him manage connections um, in more detail. So another really good session for you administrators out there on getting tips and tricks on how to administer connections. There are more sessions on Tuesday that we will see here. Uh, next up is Bernd from Versing, an engineering firm in Germany who's also been using connections for many, many years with a very novel approach on how to use connections as the hub for getting all the different um, streams together so users know what, what updates are coming their way, what they're working on. And he will talk about um, how he's using a large set of diverse digital services, combine them together so people can collaborate effectively uh, uh, beyond connections, including Domino, including Microsoft Teams and so forth. Then the, the second session on, on, on this slide here at uh, 3.45 on Tuesday is uh, the, the real person meeting of an, an ongoing series of meetings that we have been having over the last year or two that take place on a, on a monthly cadence, bringing together super users of connections, uh, basically champions within your organization of connections. So always talk about the latest trends, um, what people are seeing in the organization, and to generally just have open discussions about ideas and concepts and brainstorming, a really, really inspiring group of people. And this is the first in-person meeting of that round table um, to get everybody together and, you know, talk connections. And then you'll notice uh, the next two, uh, oh, I'm sorry, go uh, ahead, Adam. I was just saying, if you haven't, if you haven't taken part of those, or especially if you're not going to make it to Engage, um, I know Femka has it, um, links to it, and the, to sign up on her website. Um, if you go search for connections, super users, or if you go to Femka, uh, godhart.com, um, you can find information about it there, but I would highly recommend it. They're, they're really interesting discussions from people who both care about connections, but also care in general about collaboration. Uh, and I always come out with uh, some new insight or new things to think about uh, in general from those discussions. So I would highly encourage you to, to check those out and join virtually, uh, if you, even if you're not able to, or especially if you're not able to make it in person. Yeah, exactly. And then there's one more session on Tuesday at, uh, that's going to be pretty much between um, <laughs> you and the bar uh, <laughs> because it's at 4.45 to 5.30. And this will be uh, your um, great co-host here, your host here of this podcast. So it's Adam and I <laughs> will talk about the Connections Roadmap, right? So um, a little bit about C8, but then also what's coming post-8, right? What are we planning for? Uh, the subsequent releases, once we deliver Connections 8, um, we are heads down planning for what's coming after. Not saying much more here, but um, we will reveal that at the Engage event. And I believe with this, I'll hand it over to you for the next few sessions on Wednesday. Great. Thanks, Renee. Yep. So Wednesday, um, there are another six or seven sessions here for Connections. Um, so starting off in the morning, we have our partners, uh, Tiny. So Frederick Danielson and Kate Bazilevskaya will be talking about uh, the state of rich text editing. They did a recent uh, global survey and they'll give some updates on that. Tiny, of course, provides the Tiny MCE editor that's used inside of Connections. And so if you have questions or things you'd like to see there, that's a great place to go, as well as hear about where they're planning to take their product. Uh, after that, we've got um, some representatives from ISW uh, talking about huddle boards and the activities plus capabilities that are now included as part of Connections uh, ever since Connections 6.5. Hopefully you're taking advantage of those. And they'll talk about activities plus and how that's being used, um, kind of an overview of what that's used for there, as well as some updates that they're working on for activities plus and huddle boards. And then right before lunch, we've got um, another session by the team at the University of Koblenz, uh, Petra Schubert, Martin uh, Joost, and Julian Mosen. And they're going to be talking about um, the way that they, um, tools and analysis really understand 
enterprise collaboration platforms. Um, we've been collaborating with them for a number of years now. They've got some really interesting findings from a, a research standpoint, a theoretical standpoint about what makes collaboration successful and what are some of the pieces that go into it. And they've got a whole data driven analysis that they'll be sharing based on how people work together. Um, again, really interesting view of that you may be able to take back to your organization and apply at, at how you collaborate or how to improve collaboration across the, across the business. Um, later that afternoon, we've got another um, customer, uh, NEVB, that will be talking about how they're integrating connections um, into their other applications. So they started off integrating it with Teams and then look to replace that with same time actually. They've implemented multi-factor authentication, which we know we've gotten questions about from, from some of you out there. Um, they're, they're working with business partner Silverside about the, uh, the rollout, the technical implementation and the adoption project for this. So if, if those are things that you've been looking at and uh, wondering about yourselves, that would be a great place to go learn how others have done that already. Yeah, and I think it's actually okay. Silverside presenting, right? So Roland uh, okay. and Garrett from yep. Silverside will present on behalf of the customer. So roll up their sleeves and, and tell you know <laughs> all the details and, and how they've done it. It's really going to be interesting. Yep, uh, absolutely. Um, and then after that, we're back to some HCL lights here. Um, Stefan Hessler and David Bell will be doing a live demo at Connections V8. So if you've uh, been in the preview, or if you haven't yet, and you want to come see it in action and get your questions answered by the folks that are building it, come on out and uh, join us for that. Um, really exciting stuff that's coming there. And then the last connection session of the day um, is all around building a collaborative framework for business applications with communities. Um, and so we've got some speakers from Bellsoft and ISW, uh, Urs Melli and Juanis Rams, and they'll be going through um, how they're connecting Domino on the back end, HCL Volt, and, and showing those inside of communities, as well as some work they're doing around Keycloak for, um, for sign-in and um, you know, adding applications from uh, external systems through SAML or OIDC. Uh, they promise to have both technical and non-technical aspects of this, but as I mentioned before, we know a lot of uh, a lot of our customers are looking to go in these directions. That the integrations are really important, uh, and so this is a great way of hearing how uh, uh, folks have been able to put that into practice. So again, overall, I think there, there are a lot of sessions here over the few days, uh, as Renee said. You know, I'm also looking forward to being able back in person with folks. We've got, as you saw at the beginning, um, I think all, a, a who's who of HCL digital solutions uh, will be there from the technical side point, from a executive standpoint. Um, and it will be really uh, great to be able to make those connections in person again. So um, moving on, we've been, uh, Hopefully you've had a chance to check out the Connections V8 preview that we're hosting. Um, you can, um, if you haven't yet, and you previously registered for the Connections V7 preview, that is still valid. You can go to hclsw.co slash C, the number eight community, and that will redirect you over there. And if you haven't registered yet and you need to, go to hclsw.co slash c8pre and that will take you to the sign up form. Uh, we've, we've been running the, the first milestone of the release for uh, well over a month now, probably about six weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven several weeks, hundred people mm -hmm. on, yeah. Um, we've got several hundred people that have been on the on the system trying it out giving us feedback. Uh, we've been working to incorporate that feedback into the release. Some of that you'll see in Milestone 2. Some of that will wait for Milestone 3 or the final release, but a lot of good feedback on you know, the, the type of things you see when you start to look at how you would use it in real life and start banging away at it and realize, oh, this link didn't direct me where I thought it would, or uh, it would be easier if, if 
you know, this look, this user experience was updated a little bit. So keep the feedback coming. Um, we are definitely paying attention to it. We're and, uh, feeding it in wherever appropriate into uh, the release or later. Um, so are we coming up on, an, on another milestone? Because I, I know that we have a couple of things that we want to roll out. And also, a lot of the feedback that came in, we want to uh, bring in. So wh when's the next one come in? Yeah, so the next one's planned for May 17th, so just a couple of weeks and in advance of Engage. Um, oh, did so we plan ways. that, that we release it <laughs> ahead of Engage? <laughs> what a coincidence, huh? Yeah. Um, some of the things coming out in that milestone, uh, updates for the, the new UI for standalone wikis, standalone forums, files, and files, and then also updates to the profile card. So you'll see those there. Um, and then we'll have the third milestone in the July, August timeframe. And that's where you should see the rest of the, the new features um, rolled out there. So again, come, come back if you've, if you've used it already, come back uh, in a couple of weeks to, to see the new capabilities, see the updates that we've made and keep that feedback coming. Exactly. So, so uh... I know we've got some uh, updates we made recently for our mobile and uh, desktop apps and plugins. You know, yeah, we've been those. quietly chipping away in the background. And some of you have noticed, and we've gotten some really good uh, feedback on some of the things that we quietly released here. So Adam and I decided to bring this a little bit to the forefront and, and let everybody know um, that besides the work that we're putting in on Connections 8, of course, the teams are also working on uh, the Connections mobile app and the desktop plugins, right? Uh, which are not tied to the server versions. That's why we have different release cycle here. And you see that just for mobile uh, this year, 704, 705, and 706 have already been released. 704, I believe, was in January. 706 was just um, in March. No, yeah, I think March it was, March, April. Um, <clears throat> so a couple of really good things were added here for example um, up until <clears throat> 704 you couldn't add mention um, in blogs and wikis right so now you can actually go into a blog and wiki and add mention people here uh, you can um, allow users to share links with third-party applications so uh, if you're on your phone and you share with other application that's that's um, easily passed on and then another one that we've got a lot of feedback on in, in AHA was the ability to use rich text in, in the forum entry um, where you want to be able to, you know, style the text or again, add mention uh, within the content of a forum. So those were things that we added. Um, and then on the 706 release, which is the most recent one just a few weeks ago, um, we also allow the ability to create a whitelist uh, for links to be opened in an external browser if you're in the in the connections app. Because previously, if you click on it, um, it didn't allow you to open that link in, in the browser. Now you can manage that where you can actually then jump from the connections app into uh, the, the browser and open that link, right? Because you know this link is safe. Um, another ability that, that was missing was that you can invite users to join a community, which was previously not available in, in the community on the mobile device. And quite a while ago, we changed the profile picture from rectangular to round. But on mobile, uh, you couldn't crop the image with a round um, outline. So that is now support as well. On the desktop plugin side for, for Windows, there was one key requirement that's been standing out there um, that we <clears throat> just rolled out with 2203. And that is the ability to, um, when you open a file in the desktop plugin, it will prompt you to lock the file. To avoid that you know, accidental overwriting of somebody else's changes or two people working on the file at the same time, uh, we didn't want to do it so that once you open it, automatically locks. Because so many times you just want to view a file without editing it, so you don't want to lock it. But if you open it, you know you want to edit, it prompts you to lock it if you want to edit, you just click yes, and then you have a locked version, you can make your changes and nobody else can. Right? So that is now available in the Windows plugin. 
Uh, on the Mac plugin, we added the like, pin, and follow support um, in the in the context menu of the uh, um, uh, Finder integration, and uh, a number of you know behind the scenes issues, bugs, and performance enhancements. So all of this was delivered, you know, in the last four months, really. Um, and we are working on on more coming your way, right? So mobile version 707 and 708 are planned for June and August, and then uh, mobile 8 uh, roughly for early Q4 with with a number of key enhancements. Um, for example, the ad mention support that I uh, um, talked about for 704 and 705, we will bring that uh, to more areas within connections where it's still missing. Uh, another key element is the file provider extension. Now, what does that mean? Um, file provider extension, if you're on an iOS device, you know that uh, on an iPhone or iPad, you have the files app, not to be confused with the connections files app, but the Apple files app. We have an integration with that where you can open up uh, connections files um, with that Apple files uh, um, app, but it's it, it doesn't always work quite right. So we're making uh, extensive changes there to 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 really support that use case, and, and a number of other things. So the the key takeaway is that you know even though we're publicly focusing a lot on the message around eight and that we're working on eight, there are also a number of good things coming on on the other parts of connections. Okay. That's a lot. That's a lot of things I know people have been looking for. I know the the prompt to lock is a really big one. Um, yep. I'm looking forward to the file integration and the on the phone um, coming up too. I think that'll be really helpful. Yeah, we're never resting, always moving. <laughs> <laughs> but I think with that, um, we wanted to make one mention here. Um, so. What we've talked about so far was the, the core content of, of this podcast today. I hope you, you found this useful, um, uh, good information there about Engage, we hope, and, and the other milestones that we, we touched upon. But we certainly wanted to mention that um, in general, this podcast is also going to be a forum to have people join Adam and myself, right? We want this to be the platform where we can chat with people and people want to uh, uh, join us here and, and, and tell us about what they're doing with connections. That generally is, is, is part of the format uh, that we want for this podcast. And next month, we will have David Strachan with us. David Strachan is the, I guess, still new. It's been a couple of months now, but that <laughs> still counts as relatively new, Director of Engineering for HCL Connections and Digital Experience. Um, David will join us and, and we'll have an opportunity to, you know, have a little bit of a Q&A uh, where he can share a little bit of his, of his background, uh, where he sees connections going, uh, what he's observed uh, overall in, in the engineering environment for connections and um, how he's enjoying working with us. So <laughs> this should be a really exciting session. David, Despite, if, if you're looking at the slides, if you're not just listening, you see David's photos. Un, unlike this uh, um, stern look, he is actually a really friendly guy. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think we're really good conversation. It's been, uh, yeah. it's been great having him with the product. And uh, it's always helpful when you have someone new come in, new ideas, new ways of looking at things, and uh, and uh, that that fresh perspective uh and it's been you know, he's brought a lot of enthusiasm to the connections team as well so i'm looking Absolutely. forward to the conversation yep so yeah i think that that'll wrap up for us uh if you're watching along on youtube we're putting some of our links up here that we mentioned before uh in terms of the, the v8 preview where you can register oh that sorry to interrupt you i i yep. just remembered something that we talked about before uh mentioning youtube so uh, Adam and I mentioned the University of Koblenz, right? Um, Petra at the University of Koblenz actually did record a video um, and we published it a few months ago on YouTube. So if you search for HCL Connections YouTube University of Koblenz, you'll find a very interesting uh, presentation of her talking about her work and the team's work at the University of Koblenz with, with collaboration and connections.
Yes. So you'll find that in that link there okay. as well. And know what? We could even do the podcast thing and have show notes where we can include our links to uh, to the things we mentioned in here. We might have to start doing that too, because I know we mentioned oh, a number of then, uh, then, a number of things today, and make it even easier for all of then, you to go then, find them. Then we get fancy. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> so I, that that wraps it up for us today. Thank you all for uh, for listening in. If you if you stuck it out this long, hopefully it's helpful. Please pass on. We heard from some folks after the last one. Please pass on your feedback. Uh, we will continue to listen to that, improve on what we do here. Uh, and like I've said before, we wanna make sure we're covering the topics that are of interest to you. So let us know what you wanna hear about and uh, we'll be sure to include that in the future. So with that, Renee, good catching up with you. And uh, yeah, we'll same here. You again soon. Looking forward to next month. Thank you everyone. <laughs> Take care everyone. Bye-bye.